What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Francis, and I'm back with another video. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so today we are cooking. We're not doing makeup. We are cooking. This is some better light. This is some better lighting. We are cooking. So, this is my helper. This is my Hi. little cousin, Tara Kalin. Even though I'm taller than her, it looks like. Just a little bit. No. <laughs> so, we are making a few dishes today. So, I kind of already started. So, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Today, we are cooking yams. So my yams are canned yams. Sorry guys. I didn't feel like cutting up a whole yam and doing all that. It was just too much work. So I went and I got some canned yams. And so those are canned yams. And then, sorry. I want to burn the house down. And then I'm making my butter sauce to go over my yams. Then I have my water boiling for my mac and cheese. That's the oil. It's not on yet because I'm still preparing. There's my tilapia and shrimp that we're going to season in a second. There's the noodles that I'm using for mac and cheese. We have an egg. We have a couple different types of cheeses. And we have some milk. And this is what we're going to use to make this mac and cheese work. Okay, so now I'm going to add my noodles to my water for my mac and cheese to the boiling. And it's best to stir your mac or your noodles um, so that they don't stick together in the pan because as soon as you put it in the pan, the beginning stages of cooking it is when it sticks most you just stare it just make sure you're supposed to keep staring it for a little while but anyway i got time for that okay when you cook in multiple meals you ain't got time to keep staring so we store it and it start okay start so now over here we have some tilapia and we have some some shrimp oh we have some louisiana fish fry which looks like this in this bowl so now we're going to season our fish and our shrimp. And to do that, we are going to be using some Old Bay seasoning, some garlic onion all-purpose seasoning, some paprika, some accent salt, some onion powder, some slap yo mama, some garlic salt, and some seasoning salt. Now, I only have a little bit of garlic salt. And I need more garlic pepper, so we're going to use this instead of garlic see? pepper. Okay? All right. And so we're going to let that melt because that's what we're going to pour over our yams to go in the oven and our mac and cheese. So we're going to go ahead and preheat this oven to 350. Make sure you check inside of your oven to make sure that there's nothing in there before you turn your oven on. Smart thing. Back to our shrimp and fish. So... This is after I added all the seasonings. Do not be alarmed because the reds, they kind of look like a lot, but it's not because this is just the top layer. I have not mixed this together. It does not have anything underneath this. So this is all the seasoning for the whole bowl. And then once I'm done mixing that up, we're going to dip it in here and then fry it. Okay, so I went and I cut up my fish to like bite-sized pieces just so that it can be enough for everyone and I seasoned it to mix it all together so right now it's just kind of marinating in the sauces or the juices or whatever the seasoning there we go and so right this now butter, right? yeah I have some noodles that I just cooked to al dente and they're al dente so they're not like mushy they still have a little bit of firmness to them that's al dente you don't want them to be fully cooked because you're gonna have to take this Put it in the oven and cook it some more. And if your noodles are fully cooked, you're going to have some soggy, nasty noodles in your mac and cheese. And nobody wants that, okay? Okay. So, <laughs> we added butter. So, I just went and put, like, little pieces of butter everywhere. Okay. We're going to add one egg. Yes. 
like that. Come on, fire spray. And we're gonna just take a spoon and we're gonna mix that around like that. So now I'm gonna add my seasonings. So you want a little bit of accent salt on it, just a little bit. You want a little bit of seasoning salt. I got one hand here, one hand. A little bit of seasoning salt. You don't want to add too much salt to your mac and cheese because you're going to add cheese, and cheese is salty mm -hmm. itself. So if you add too much cheese, you want to do some salty mac and cheese. Then we're going to add a little bit of garlic onion all purpose a bit. We're gonna mix that up now we got our milk and a butter so we're gonna bring that to semi boil and add our cheeses for you instead of me. It's because you have to blow it. Okay, so I have some fish and shrimp frying. This batch already just came out. This is ready to go in. So we have our cheese sauce. And what she's doing is she's adding about a handful of cheese and eat of each cheese into the mixture that we're gonna pour over our noodles that are over here. Just patiently waiting a little bit of egg that needed to be mixed in you want to make sure your egg is mixed well in don't mind my daughter and my nephew in the background arguing because that's all they do all day every day hey, hey, hey. is are you yes yeah, so we're coming along we have milk our cheese sauce Go ahead. So you want your cheese to melt all the way down to where it melts all the way down. Pull up. Now another thing is you don't want to overcrowd your your skillet. Meaning you don't want to put too much in the skillet at one time. It makes the heat drop because of the fact that it has to now reheat itself from the temperature change of you adding all the meat into it. So just put a couple pieces in at a time. It goes faster, trust and believe, because the fish cook faster when they're, they have room to actually cook. And then look how sexy this right there, you see? Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are now done. So we have our yams. We have our mac and cheese. We have like our fried fish and shrimp. This looks fake. <laughs> and we have our green beans and corn. All the food. Now, these are all the people's plates. I don't think we need all these. Hi. Ones. We just need a, we just need a couple, a couple of them. Okay, I'll do these ones first. But yes, the food, the food, the food is done. Looks bomb, don't it? See that? 